What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Rant and for everybody who's new to the channel and is a little confused on what the series actually is, it's basically just when something triggers me or pisses me off in a game that I play and I just have to express my feelings about it and just get my anger out and vent a little bit about this particular topic. So today's going to be a little something special because I do understand that some patch notes have come out for Call of Duty for the latest patch and they did indeed nerf the SOGS but apparently it was just the range. They didn't really touch the damage of it and also I think they messed a little bit with the spread of the weapon as well. But they don't understand that these aren't the things that are messing up the SOG. These aren't the specific factors that makes the SOG good. These things are so overpowered that it has gotten to the point in the Call of Duty community that pretty much anyone who uses the dual akimbo SOGs will get trash talked in a lobby. It's no way you can get around it. Absolutely 0% chance that nobody will trash talk you. They will all say you're trash, they will all say you're bad, and they will question why you're using the dual akimbo SOGs, and they will definitely say that it's no skill involved while using them. People will trash the living crap out of you. And even to get this footage for this gameplay, because like I said, I'm, I'm a part of that uh, that crew. I don't really care for the Kimbo Sogs. I think they're very aggravating. You can't go up against them up close with any other weapon. If you see an Akimbo Sog player up close, you just put your hands up, give up, and let them kill you. It is 0% chance of you winning that gunfight unless they're completely trash. But I got trash talked every single game. I mean it. I'm being dead serious. Every single game that I played with the dual um, Akimbo Sogs, I had someone talk trash because they thought that I was really bad, they thought it was stupid that I was using the Akimbo Sogs, they hated it. And that's an issue, because if the whole community is saying that it's horrible, and the whole community is complaining that a gun is this bad, then obviously something is wrong with it. It needs a nerf, but obviously not in the way that they already nerfed it. I was hoping that they didn't take away the range and the spread. Honestly, I like the fact that you can actually engage in different gunfights while using the Akimbo Sogs. At this point in time, how the Akimbo Sogs work now and the way that they patched it up, I don't even want to capture flags while using them, honestly, in Domination because they literally just do not have enough range. But instead of capturing flags, since the playstyle is so aggressive, I just ignore all the flags and I just bum rush every single point that I can get to that's close quarters. That's the playstyle of the Akimbo Sogs. That's all you can pretty much do. And that causes the hatred for these guns, I think, because you can't really do much else besides just bum rush small quartered areas. And just that's pretty much how you get streaks and stuff because nobody else can compete. You stick to the close, you know, closed in areas that nobody else, like assault rifle players or LMG players, can outgun you at. Even SMG players can't even outgun you in these close quartered areas. But that's usually what you want to stick with when you're using these Akimbo Sogs which I think is a completely bad thing. I think they should have kept the range and kept the spread. They should have allowed you to have a little distance while you sprayed the SOGs, but instead of all that, they should have just bump the damage down. They don't have to bump the damage down on both the single and the duo SOGs. Because personally, I love the single SOG. I think the single SOG might be one of the best SMGs in this game. And it's a fair gun as well. It's not too overpowered, and it's not too game-breaking. What's game-breaking is the dual SOGs, which a lot of people would just want both guns nerfed completely, but that would really change the flow of this game. If I were to choose two of the submachine guns that I think are the best subs in this game, I will say they would be the Spitfire and the SOG. But honestly, the Spitfire is completely useless at this point because the Spitfire is made for very close range encounterments. It's made to completely spray down your opponent, wipe them clean up close. So, you know, that's pretty fair, especially if you're running up against AR players and LMG players. They need to learn to keep their distance from you and not go close quarters or you're going to wipe them clean. But the dual akimbo SOGs, it's no competition. Not even the Spitfire at close range can beat the dual akimbo SOGs. The only thing that can beat it is the Strife Pistol. But for those who don't know about the Strife Pistol, you're missing out. That might probably be the best gun in this game, honestly. But other than that, the dual akimbo SOGs are unbeatable at close range. So they don't have to mess with the damage for both the dual and the single SOGs. I think they should really keep the single SOG the way it is. It's a great gun. It's a good 
I would say close to medium range weapon. It's probably the best submachine gun that you can get that will allow you to semi compete against assault rifles and not just have to strictly keep yourself to close quarters. I guess they also tried to make it so this gun wouldn't get picked that much because when you do choose a wild card in order to equip the dual akimbo SOGs, it takes away your specialist special ability, which mine right now for Ajax would be the 9 bang. And honestly, that's pretty big because I do love having my specialist abilities, but honestly, at the cost of the dual SOGs, you don't even need, I don't even need a riot shield. I don't need anything. You don't even need to give me a stim shot or nothing. I don't need to heal. I'm using the, the dual akimbo SOGs. There's nothing else in this world that I need. I will melt every human being that possibly comes in front of me and tries to engage. These things are too nasty. They're way too nasty. How did they even get into this game? How did Treyarch say, oh, you know what, let's put in two submachine guns, first off, the best submachine guns in the game, because these are the submachine guns that you unlock at the very last part of the submachine gun um, unlock, so you have to be level like 52, 53 or something like that to unlock this gun, and then on top of that, you can akimbo it, and then on top of that, you can put silencers on it, which don't affect the damage, and then on top of that, you can put fast mags on these things, so you can reload in 0.2 seconds, and I've actually seen people run around with gung-ho on, which is a perk that allows you to run and shoot at the same time, which currently right now, while I'm getting this gameplay, I have not prestiged well, I have prestige, so I'm not a high enough level to unlock it yet. But Jesus Christ, I've seen some people running around with that. And they don't even have to stop to shoot. They're just sprinting, sprinting, sprinting. Brrr, sprint, 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 brrr, sprint, 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 sprint. It's, oh my god. It is mind-boggling what you could possibly do with these akimboed weapons. Now, like I said earlier, I think they just nerfed it completely wrong. Their idea of this weapon is just all mixed up and jumbled up. Like I said, I think this weapon should be able to be used for at least close to medium ranges. It's a good weapon, it's solid, but what they should do is just drop the damage for the akimboed versions. You are pretty much using these same weapons, two of the most overpowered weapons at once. It's bad enough that one of those things can destroy someone so quickly, but now you have two of them at the same time. And nerfing the, the spread and the range for these weapons, it's not going to do anything because it's a close range weapon. That's what it is. People don't sit there and try to snipe with the akimbo SOGs. No, they're running gunning and they're trying to get feeds and they're trying to make people angry and they're trying to streak up with the akimbo SOGs. That's the whole point of using them. They're insanely reliable, very good up close. When you have fast mags on, they reload so quickly. And then on top of that, you can put suppressors on them as well. So you can just run around the map all free and willy, whatever you want to do, and just wipe out their whole team without them even noticing that you're coming up from behind them. These guns, it's too much, it's too insane. They should drop the damage for the akimboed version, not the single version, just the akimboed version. They should bring back the range, maybe tighten the spread a little bit, and the guns will be good. The only reason that people hate it is that you can't outgun it. You literally can't outgun it. It's impossible. You will never win a gunfight up close if you're versing these two weapons. It's, it's pointless. Just, just put up a, a, a freaking flag, just sign it off, and just quit the game. Don't even bother finishing the match. Just quit the game right there if you see someone using the Akimbo Sulks. It's like the equivalent of the dual models back in Modern Warfare 2. It's just too much sauce. Alright guys, I'm gonna end my rant there. I want to thank you all for just sitting here and listening to me complain about something as always. But if you do agree with me, leave it down in the comments section. If you don't agree with me, leave it down in the comments section as well. I always just love seeing your opinions. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Dislike if you hated it. Subscribe for some more content and hit that bell notification button. It helps you be notified on all my recent uploads. Follow me and chat with me on Twitter. And you can also catch my streams on Twitch. Which, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.